Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Islands HS2 as an exciter for QO100 satellite uplink. Now I'm going to be using a DX Patrol up converter, which can take a 2 meter 144 megahertz input and will output 2.4 gigahertz. So the first thing I need to do is set up the HS2 to the 2 meter band and then select the USB mode. I'll also adjust the power level to its lowest setting. The reason for this is because the DX Patrol up converter can take up to three watts power input for a 250 milliwatt output. But the amplifier that I'm going to be using, the SG Labs V3 amplifier, only requires around 40 milliwatts for the full 20 watts output. So to lower the output from the HS2 further, I've inserted a 3 dB attenuator between the radio and the transverter. Now at the end of my garden, we have the 1.2 meter dish with a dual feed helix antenna, which I've covered in another video if you want to see how that's made. Now this is then fed with around one meter or Formula Zero low loss coax, which I purchased from Moonmaker here in the UK. This then connects to the output side of the SG Labs V3 amplifier. So coming into this waterproof box, I have a 13.8 volt feed, which comes from a power supply in the shack. And we also have a 50 ohm mini eight coax, which comes from the HS2 radio, which is also in the shack. The coax plugs directly into the DX Patrol up converter and the output goes through a 2.4 gigahertz filter. Now this also helps attenuate the up converter's signal. And then this feeds directly to the input of the SG Labs RF amplifier. Now the amplifier itself requires 28 volts DC, so we're also using a step up transformer, as you can see here on the top left. You will also notice a rather large heat sink and fan, which is mounted to the top of the SG Labs amplifier. Now this is to keep it nice and cool while in use. The amp is RF switched, so there's no need for a PTT line to activate the amplifier. So now I'll play your recording of my first QSO on QA100 using this particular setup. Now you may notice that you can clearly hear my breaths between talking, which when playing back is actually quite annoying. Now I do believe the reason for this is because I had the mic compressor on the HS2 set far too high. Obviously things like this do need to be tweaked to get the best out of it. Now if you don't want to listen to all of the QSO, please feel free to skip to the end of the video. M0DQW calling CQ, CQ satellite, CQ. M0DQW calling. Uh, I just want to get on your frequency. Uh, it sounds okay. All right, good afternoon. I missed that call completely. Uh, sorry, I had to put earphones on uh, and had to come up to the TX frequency. This is Zulu Sierra. 4 Alpha, Zulu, Sierra, number 4 Alpha, standing by for you. Very good afternoon. Uh, the name here is Matt, Mexico Alpha Tango, and location is about 15 miles west of London. And the call sign is Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Hopefully that's given you enough uh, audio to tune properly. Um, tuning for me is a little bit difficult, but uh, I'll explain a bit further, <laughs> a bit further down. Um, but uh, go ahead again with your call sign, please, and uh, and your name, and uh, I'll get you in the log. It's from Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. HP9 Alaska Fox. Uh, the business, the uh, Matt, uh, Mike Zero, Delta, Quebec, Whiskey. Uh, this is Zulu Sierra 4 Alpha. Zulu Sierra 4 Alpha. I just want to make sure I'm on your frequency. Just stand by for me. It's going to be a bit difficult hearing my own voice coming back, but just stand by. Uh, okay. okay, it's a bit. Uh, let's go that. Uh, let's go that way. Uh, yeah, that's better. Okay, fine. Just put the audio off uh, back into my ears. Good afternoon, Matt. As I said, the call sign that is uh, 4 Alpha. And the name is Rikas Radio Italy Charlie Kilowatt uh, United Sierra. Rikas is my name and I'm about 250 kilometers south of Johannesburg City. 
My QTH is called Bethlehem, Bethlehem in the northeastern Free State, just just above uh, the top end of the Lesotho border, about an odd 50 kilometers, 45 to 50 kilometers north of the tip of the Lesotho border. You can find me there on the map. Uh, grid locator here, yeah? Kilo Golf 41 Delta Sierra, Kilo Golf 41 Delta Sierra. Okay, Mike, Ah, Matt, sorry, Matt, uh, I think everything is now running smooth on this side. It sounded like that. So let's hear from your side. Mike, Zero, Delta, Quebec, Whiskey, ZS4 Alpha. ZS4 Alpha. Uh, this is Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Sorry, there was a little bit of an echo there. I uh, should really put some headphones on uh, just to um, should check my audio. I'm just using a, a bit of a different setup today. Um, uh, I'm using a, a, tra a transverter today, a DX Patrol transverter, going from two meters uh, SSB upper sideband, obviously, and uh, into uh, into an SG Lab V320 watt amplifier at the end of my garden, uh, and that goes into a uh, helix uh, helix antenna uh, on the end of a 1.2 meter dish. Uh, the transceiver that I'm using is uh, is an Islance HS2. I don't know if you've seen it uh, advertised. It's uh, been recently been released. Uh, it's had a lot of negative um, negative reviews um, because obviously it's a radio that's come out of China and uh, a lot of people don't like it. But uh, I wanted to. One of the main reasons why I wanted to get it was because it's quite small. And uh, I wanted to use it as an exciter for uh, for here for for, for QA100. So this is my first test. So I've literally just plugged it in and uh, just trying to uh, figure out where on the two meter portion of the band I'm going to be coming out on 2.4 gigs and then <laughs> and then coming out on 10 gigs. So uh, I was doing a couple of audio tests and uh, and listening to see where I was coming out. So on my radio, I've got 144.201.5. So uh, that's what I'm transmitting into the transverter. Um, but um, and I, I think it seems to be working okay. Um, but uh, but yeah, if you want to look up the radio I'm using, it's uh, Alens Al Alpha. Uh, how do you pronounce it actually? Oh yeah, Alpha India Lima Uniform November Charlie Echo. Or it's a Retivis model as well. Retivis. Uh, and it's a HS2, Hotel Sierra 2, and uh, I've got it on extremely low power. Um, but I wanted to give a nice long over just to make sure that I'm staying on frequency and uh, it's not drifting or anything, so I'll just quickly turn up the volume to hear my voice. And, uh, oh yeah, well, okay, I think it's, I think it's sounding okay. And uh, it looks like I'm a fairly good signal in. Unfortunately, where I live, um, I, I, I can't get a very, I can't get a clear line of sight to the satellite because I have some issues with some uh, some trees in the way of the satellite. So I have to depend on uh, web SDR for receiving, which is a real shame uh, because um, I have I have the equipment to receive and transmit, but uh, unfortunately. Mother Nature isn't isn't letting me receive receive <laughs> very well. But uh, anyway, I've waffled on enough there, uh, Rickus, and it's nice to work here. I'm not sure if we've worked before. Uh, I don't have my logbook open, but uh, it's nice to uh, nice to meet you on here this afternoon. Uh, ZS4A M0 DQW. Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey Mercedes for Alpha returning. No fine business. Uh, there, Matt. Now you sound very nice. There's absolutely uh, no problem. Uh, nice audio. Everything is clear and strong. Uh, yeah, on my side. So uh, no problem. Okay, the setup this side. The exciter is uh, Kenwood TS2000 X-ray, but I'm using it on two meters to the transverter. So there we go, guys. That's the HS2 being used as an exciter on QO100. And for me, it worked really well. 
What I really wanted to get out of this test was how well the HS2 remained on frequency with prolonged use. Now, when we start dealing with transverters and 2.4 gigs SSB, it's really important to have a stable exciter. Any slight movement in frequency will be amplified up the chain and could potentially cause audio and reception issues. So for me, the HS2 is a great contender to be used as an exciter for the QO100. Now, just to point out, the DX Patrol up converter used in this video can also take a 28 megs IF input, a 432 megs IF input, and a 1.2 gigs IF input. Now, so far, I've not tried any of these other IF frequencies, only the 144 megahertz. So there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next video, stay safe, take care. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to hit the subscribe button.